In Central America, the heart is called Guatemala, a great country whose Mayan roots mean place where trees abound. Guatemala is rich in cultures, ethnicities, and languages, but also a country where most of the population is poor and unable to meet basic needs, which is reflected in health indicators. Every day, approximately two women die from preventable causes related to pregnancy, most of them in their homes. According to the National Maternal and Child Health Survey 2005, the majority of maternal deaths occurs amongst indigenous women living in poverty, with little education, and who live in rural areas. It is uh, they who have uh, the largest number of children, six on average, and the lowest percentage of births attended by medical personnel. Unfortunately, Alta Veropas is the department with the highest number of maternal deaths due to many social, economic and cultural factors. Reproductive health as an indicator of human development is essential to improve the quality of life people and fully 21st century with the global boom in information and communication technologies. These technologies have the potential to make the right to health available to all. Tula Salud is a Guatemalan organization with the Canadian technical and financial support that has demonstrated since 2004 that by establishing partnerships among public and private sector and invest in information and communication technology and human capital to address the health of neglected populations contributes to development. This has been endorsed by Health for Development of uh, United Nations Foundation on the opportunity of mobile technology for healthcare in the development world. Tula Salud invests in successful programs uh, through eHealth. The strategy is that uh, through supporting the National School of Nursing, uh, Coban, and the Ministry of Health, it helps to train people that come from rural communities and this promotes more culturally sensitive health care. Teleeducation are two web-based programs that train auxiliary and technical nurses to address priority health problems. There are currently about 500 nursing students in 26 locations in the country. In addition, community nursing auxiliary graduates and volunteers in communities with high rates of infant and maternal mortality are playing the role of health facilitators to provide telehealth care and epidemiological surveillance round the clock, seven days a week, using cell phone for consultation with medical personnel and, if necessary, referrals to the health services. These community health workers are part of the telehealth program which serves more than 250 communities of Alta Verapaz in conjunction with the Department of Health and Regional Health Care Network. The model of telehealth has proven that it works. This year we have referred more than 200 people to health services. Over 90% are women, referred due to complications from pregnancy, childbirth and postpartum, which are lives safe. Tula Salud demonstrates that the coordination among Ministry of Health, health sector organizations, civil society and donors and use of information, technology and communication can save lives. Tula Salud promotes change, believes in the commitment of the institutions and the communities as agents of their own health and development.